Chapter 8 Interactive Programming with Scratch Introduction In the previous class, we learnt about basic features of Scratch, event handling and simple decision making. In this chapter, we shall explore more about event handling in Scratch and get introduced to decision making through various examples. Quick recap. Let us have a quick recap of what we learned earlier. Launching Scratch. Open Start menu and click on Scratch option. Scratch Project window. Every animation in Scratch is treated as a separate project. Scratch interface shows the project window. Project window is composed of following main parts. Stage shows the position and placing of sprites in your animation. It also shows the output of the animation created by you. Sprites palette lists all the sprites added by you in your animation. Sprites are various objects that together make your animation. Blocks palette contains all the building blocks of your animation. Sprites Library. Above the Sprites palette, click on Sprites from Library icon. Sprites Library will be displayed where Sprites are organized in various categories. Double click on the desired Sprite to add it to the stage. Costumes Library. Clicking on Choose Costume from Library option, a costume library opens up that lists a collection of costumes and expressions for various characters to choose from. Backdrop Library Clicking on Choose Backdrop from Library option, a backdrop library opens up that lists a collection of backdrops organized in various categories. Double-click on the desired backdrop Event Handling An event is any action occurring at any point of time before, after or during animation. For example, user clicks on stage, a key is pressed on the keyboard, etc. Scratch lets us decide what to do when an event occurs. For example, if user clicks anywhere on the stage or on a sprite, we can let the sprite do something. Let us try this out. Add sprite Amun from People category in Sprites Library. Using Shrink tool at the top of the stage, decrease Amun's size. Place Amun at bottom right corner of the stage as shown here. From Scripts tab, Go to Events category. Add when this sprite clicked block to your script. From Script tab, go to Motion category. Add Glide to block with the values for seconds X and Y as shown here. From Scripts tab, go to Events category. Add when space key is pressed block to your script. From Script tab, go to Control category. Add stop all block. Explanation On the event when the sprite clicked, when user clicks on Amun, it would glide towards right side. On the event when space key pressed, Amun would stop. This way, Amun would move on mouse click on it and stop on space key press. Taking Decisions To control the flow of animation, many times certain checks need to be done and depending on the condition, the animation should change. Checking certain conditions and deciding the course of the script is called taking decisions. For example, we can check the direction of the sprite and if it is not moving in the desired direction, we can change it. 
Let us have a look at this example. Add cat and banana sprites on the stage as shown here. Add when space key pressed block from events category. Add move 10 steps block from motion category. Add if then block from control category. Drag drop touching color block from sensing category to the condition slot of if then block. Click once in the color square of touching color block. Mouse pointer will turn into pointing finger shape. Now, click on the yellow color of the bananas sprite. This will set the yellow color in the square. Into if then block, add point in direction 0 and move 10 steps blocks. Press space bar until the cat reaches the bananas and observe what happens. Explanation for every space bar press, the cat will move forward 10 steps. The if then block checks if the cat is touching yellow color. This is accomplished by touching color block. If the cat touches yellow color bananas anywhere on the stage, it will turn in upward zero direction. Processing user input. Scratch allows taking input from the user and then processing it to produce desired result. For example, asking the users to enter their age and telling them if they are eligible to cast their vote if they are 18 or not. The input given by the user is stored in the variables with unique names given by us. A variable is the storehouse for a value at a time. If it stores a new value, then any value previously stored in it is lost forever. Hence, it is called a variable because during script execution, its value may change. Let us see the steps to create a variable by the name age. In scripts tab, go to data category. Click on the option Make a Variable. In the dialog box, enter the name of the variable as age. Click on OK. Add the sprite to the script palette. Add Ask and Wait block from Sensing category. Set the text to Enter your age. Add Set Age to 0 block from Data category. Drag drop answer block into the value section of the set age to block. Add if then else block from control category. Drag drop comparison block from operators category into the condition section of if then else block. Drag drop variable age from data category to the placeholder before the right arrow sign. Type 17 in the placeholder after the right arrow sign. Add say for 2 seconds block and if section. Set the text to you can vote. Add say for 2 seconds block and else section. Set the text to sorry you need to wait. Explanation. Run the animation. The script displays Enter your age and waits for input. Suppose user enters 20. This input gets stored in the answer block. The statement set age to answer assigns the value of answer 20 to the variable age. Next, if checks the condition age is more than 17. Value of variable age is 20, hence this condition returns true and the sprite says, you can vote. Statements inside if block execute when the condition returns true, otherwise statements inside else block execute. If user enters number 17 or less, then the condition age is more than 17 would return false and else block would execute. The sprite would say, sorry, you need to wait.